We're right outside the Environmental Learning Center in Sebastian. I'm highlighting the lagoon. Look at this little guy. <laughs> little white ibis. These are pretty coasters. The original mermaids. We've left the center itself and we're outside. There's a summer camp going on. There's a temporary exhibit with skulls. Interesting. This is a bobcat. These are flesh of the I see a crab. There are four. There's a stone crab. Yeah. Mm. A manatee. And that's its bottom jaw. Now that we have a basic knowledge of some of the animals that live in this area, let's take a walk on George's Trail. A bathhouse. This is pretty. It's pretty dry down there. Well, if you could smell, you would smell the sulfur of the swamp water. It's quite a tangle down there. Here's a little game. Up hill we go, but what's below? What's in the crab holes? that. And here's more water. But we're pretty deep in the mangrove swamp now. And we've made it! The Indian River Lagoon! And we're virtually in it. And this is the outdoor classroom. There's some pretty coloring here. It's another game. So where would you find the giant land crab? There he is. In the mud. There's two crab holes. And here's the pond. There's also a native plant trail and we're on that right now. Is the gumbo limbo? Yeah. Oh, is that this is a Spanish stopper and wild coffee. Now, if you've never seen beach grapes, this is what they are. And they are edible, although on the bitter side. Here's the Florida panther. Yep. Nice children's area here. Well, that was fun. Next stop, the Sebastian Area Historical Museum. Here's the way the school desk looked about a hundred years ago or so. And remembering segregation. It's a sign for the trains depot. Here's the family room. All types of artifacts. <laughs> The fishing village. Well, and uh, this was a midden here, a pile of shells, mm -hmm. a thousand foot long, four hundred foot wide, and uh, as they say, it was taller than any of the trees, and it was several thousand years old. All found and buried in the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's hard to Yes, yeah, <coughs> a little 
movie house here. Mm -hmm. And between the, when they're changing the reels, they showed different slides, like similar to that, but there's some with uh, ladies over 40, please remove your hat. So, you know, everybody's got their <laughs> hat on. You know? <laughs> and, uh, I don't, you know, those. Now there's a bank on every corner. <laughs> well, the pile of shelves. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was huge. Oh, my there's gosh. There's a picture yeah. of it, and this house was on top of it. And it was from thousands of years from that. They're at least 2,500 years old. Mm -hmm. The uh, Eyes Indians are common to this area. Oh, these are the two crucibles I was telling you about. Boy, when the one on the front, and that flat part, mm -hmm. uh, the sound print, very, very uh, noticeable on it. Really, mm -hmm. really something. The material is not common to this area. Hi, Shirley. So they, uh, they probably were trade items that they bought from somewhere else and mm -hmm. swapped mm -hmm. off. But look at the carvings on it. How, I, I can't imagine how they did that. It's beautiful. Can you imagine okay, wearing this to the beach? Uh, if you want more. No, that's fine. I got it. First postmaster, and the name of this place was New Haven. And he didn't like the name, so he named the, the city and the town Sebastian. So he changed the name of it. <laughs> and it was by the Sebastian River, the railroad tracks. Mm -hmm. And so I'm only floated the logs down the river and up here, cut them and loaded them right on the. Mm -hmm. They stopped putting the uh, numbers on there. Uh, the man that gave it to me is a real good friend of mine, one of my best friends. And his mother typed her uh, papers for to get her master's degree on that. Oh, wow. But she was, uh, I think, half Indian. And, and uh, do you remember the carnivals from years ago? Our friend Brian always talks about Earl's Hideaway, so we thought we'd try it for lunch. We're on the patio, and what a view. Hello, Greg. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wow, wouldn't it be nice to be out there? Uh huh. And here's lunch, and it's about as down home as you can get. Ham club with three bean salad and chips. That was good, just good plain home cooking. <laughs>